So this uh, recording is just to document some of the work that children did uh, in the last year and uh, and also maybe some of the other interactions we've had with children. Um, a big part of uh, what we did was interacting with technology and children and uh, we, we started with using the big shot cameras which are do-it-yourself cameras that children could build on their own and so the, the, there are about 30 pieces that you can see here for example that the children have to assemble, follow instructions, put the camera together and then they can take photographs and uh, we basically worked in groups so for children to work in groups of uh, three or four and, and build the cameras together um, the other thing we worked on in a fairly serious way last year was uh, to, to get children to start programming and to use programming as as a way of uh, also uh, dealing with the curricular aspects that children have to deal with. But we didn't start with that. We started with just getting children to use programming with, with language. So they, they wrote a story and then they tried to create and give the story some life and so that's that's one story here. actually misses that and this is the next day. The aliens have actually come. Clearly, I can't make up a story like that. So, um, the the number of items you would see is that he he's used each item, and he's it's like basically a huge play in which you have uh, every character that comes in, does its thing, and disappears. And uh, he has five, three, four, or so twenty three characters in this. They each have their own role. They come in and. Uh, he has to track how long it needs to be there, not be there, what kind of anything that changes for example is a change in costume and which are the costumes that each of them would use and how things would move and so on. So it gives you an idea of the kind of complexity that the children have to deal with uh, when they are making their story into into something that's real. And um, we also used uh, programming initially to get children uh, some feel of how it is to react to interact with the real world so we use this device called a makey makey and uh, the makey makey is uh, uh, at it, something that lets them interact with real life objects like flowers and uh, plants and anything that has uh, any amount of uh, uh, moisture in it can actually interact with the makey makey and so we had the children tell about a week after I had shown them the Makey Makey I asked them to sort of talk about how do you hook up a Makey Makey, what do you do with it what he realized wasn't happening. What he's doing now is debugging. Of course, 
course I'm extremely unhelpful. And then they start thinking of uh, explanations on why these things work, or how the Makey Makey works. So that's the program we used. Uh, it's a visual program to uh, get rid of all the compilation errors, linking errors, and all that kind of aspects. My children can just quickly start programming. 